Just look at this beautiful summer day in Ferdy's forest. The birds are chirping, the bees are buzzing, the sky is a sunny blue. How happy the forest animals must feel today, basking in the warm summer sun, rolling in the grass, napping in the shade. But wait, what's that smell? It smells like smoke and it's coming from Ferdy's chimney. Why would Ferdy be burning firewood today when it's so nice and warm outside? Is he sick? Maybe Ferdy caught a cold when that grasshopper threw him in the river. Or could it be that Ferdy is still lovesick over Laura? Let's find out what's wrong with Ferdy. Maybe we can help him. I'm so cold, I feel like an ice cream cone. I wish this fire was bigger. Oops, I sneezed on my fire. Maybe this tea will make me feel better. I wish Laura would come visit me. It's no fun being sick. Sweet as a voice in the land of gold. La, 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 la. Sweet as the calling of birds so bold. Sweet as the sound of a blowing breeze. Sweet as the blackbird song in the trees. And sweeter than all of this. Oh! That's strange. Pretty's fireplace is going. I better check this out. I'll just touch up my face a bit first. Hmm. Perfect. Uh, oh! <coughs> Huh? What's this? Ooh. I know! It's Laura's powder box! She's here! Yay! Uh. Huh? Up here! Ah. There you are! Hi! Hi! You're looking good as usual, my dear. But why are you sitting on top of my roof? Just enjoying the beautiful view up here. You know, actually, I just dropped my powder box down your chimney. Have you seen it? I must get it back. Yeah, I just happened to have it right here in my hand. <coughs> Sorry. So what do you say? Uh, now that I found it, is there a reward for me? Ferdy, you devil. A kiss? I guess you deserve yeah. one. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, pew! You're sick and you let me kiss you and get germs? Sorry, I, I got kind of cold when I looked for it. I, I kind of cold when I went out looking for a horse for you. Boy, oh boy, blame it on me, why don't you? You're just pretending to be sick so you won't have to keep your promise to take me on a carriage ride. Wait. I won't be back until you find me a horse. Hmm. Why does she do this to me every time? Maybe a hot shower will cure this cold. Oh, scrub a dub dub a dub. <coughs> nah, I know. I'll get better and find her a horse. <sighs> let me in! Let huh? me in! Let me in! <laughs> Holy moly! Boy, that was close. What? We'll never make it out alive. We're surrounded. Lucky I found this place before the engines could scout me. Hey, uh, you get out. Be sick. Well, who is this funny little person? I must be yeah. dreaming. Hey, my name is Woody. Indians been chasing me for two days or more. But, but don't you worry, they uh, probably huh? don't want your scalp. Reminds me of my old movie star days, when me and John Wayne rode together in the old Wild West. Yeah, that's it. No. How could you doubt such a sweet, innocent face? <laughs> <laughs>
I've starred in several major big time movies. Sinatra, Olivier, oh, you name it. Yeah, I'm a big sure. movie star worldwide, you betcha. I'm a VIP CEO. BVD! I just love flowers. Reminds me of the time I was king of the Hawaiian Islands. What's to eat? Hmm. 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 Need salt. It'll do. Nice phone. I need to make a call into my agent. Oh. Indians must have cut the telephone lines. Either that or you don't pay your bills on time, you know? Got a gym ring, I see. I'm a gold medalist. Take a look at this. Call me champion. Woo! Now look what you did, you nosy person! My shower! I sure could use a hula hoop! Whoa! Hey, I just think I invented a new dance! Just call me Fred Astaire! Fred Astaire! Oh no! Punk a doo wop No more! I got you! No, I got you! You're a lot more dancing, you know that? You're no ginger rogers! Reminds me of the time I caught a ride on a gray whale across the Pacific Ocean. You don't believe me, do you? I just don't really see how you could have done all those things. It's easy, my friend. I've done it all by going to see action-adventure movies, because that's where I was born, you know? In a movie theater. Backstage with bright lights and movie stars. You betcha. I was just a little bitty baby when I saw my first movie. There I was, walking along, minding my own business, and having a great time, when suddenly I was face to face with E.T. and his buddy D.T. leaving their spaceship. <laughs> Boy, those were the days, watching movies from all over the world. You can just call me the Cinema Kid, Celluloid Hero Deluxe. Movies, the theater, let me tell you, Ferdy, it was a wonderful way to grow up. Thank you very much. Like I was telling you, my friend, long before my life as a movie star, I was a hypnotist. But the problem was, I'd always put myself to sleep. Oh, it's Laura. She came over to see me. Yikes! Ooh, the drapes! It's not her. It's the Indians. It's a trick. Run! It's not a movie, and there aren't any Indians out there. It's Laura. Laura? And who is this Laura? Is she a major movie star? Maybe she was in a movie with me. There. Oh, that's her, all right. Uh, did you see the way she flies through the air? She's so sweet. So charming. She's really great. Boy, oh boy. You got it bad, my friend. You must be lovesick. If I took your temperature, hey, it'd jump off the scale and melt the moon. Yes, it would. Just look at you, happy as a cat in clover. Just like in the movies. Sometimes things go great, sometimes they don't. Uh, listen to me, Ferdy. Love ain't clover, and it ain't roses either. You got sad endings, bad endings, cliffhangers, and tragedies. But hey, sometimes you get the girl in the end. I should know. This reminds me of the time I was in Italy making a movie. I met this beautiful girl. Gwendolyn was her name, see? Yeah, that's it. It was in the land far, far away with castles and dragons and lots of good linguine. 
I was singing to her. My heart on my sleeve, down my jacket, a beautiful love Faces song. Faces like a melody, plucks my heartstring right on key. Cupid is whispering to us. I'm your prince, I'm your heart's desire. I've come to set your heart on fire. Darling, please. Nice tongue, and rich too. So there I was, guitar in hand, and me a man of action. I just hauled off and knocked down the balcony. And bingo! Happy ending! So you see, Laura can fall for you like leaves from a tree. Then all you gotta do is rake her in. Be bold, be dashing, be like me the time I was fighting knights in armor a long time ago. There I was, defending the honor of my country in a jousting match against a cruel opponent. My adoring fans standing by to crown me with victory. Closer, and even closer, and closer, and even closer already, and closer, until we finally came together, and... <laughs> it was a short fight, and I was the winner, of course, thanks to my simply brilliant strategy. Charge fast, stay calm, and shut your eyes. I came away with the hand of a lovely lady. That's just a movie. But you know, sometimes life is like a movie. Well, I'm talking about reality. I promised Laura I'd take her out on a carriage ride. The problem is, I don't have a horse, and I don't know where to find one. Which just shows how little you know about women, my dear friend. Take it from me. If you make them a promise, they'll nag you until they make you keep it. Why didn't you promise her a car? They don't hey, pay, what? and you can just rent one, and nobody will know it's not yours. Because I promised her a horse, and I always keep a promise. I'm an aunt of honor, so I've got to find a horse for Laura. Hmm. A horse, a horse. Ferdy's honor for a horse. Well, now I've shot buffalo, I've chased cheetahs, and now it's horses. Stay here, I've got an idea. Ta-da! Just an old trick John oh, wow. Wayne and I used to do. Oh, oh, oh. It's time to lasso up them little prairie doggies. Here. Birdie, all you gotta do is twirl it around and then let it fly. Uh, but that's not a real horse, that's just a darn old flower base. Well, use your imagination, Ferdy. Pretend you're Lawrence of Arabia sneaking up on a wild camel in the desert. in the old wild west. Sorry. You almost killed me! Do I look like a flower face? What you need is a real first-hand lesson on the fine art of roping. Yeah! Back when I was the Prince of Wales, I used to rope me these big flying birds. Cool. Right out of the sky. So tell you what I'm gonna do right here today. A simulated old-fashioned lasso. Now give me that. I've got superb hand-eye coordination. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'm a little rusty after all these years, but you whippersnappers pay attention to this. A whirl and a twirl and watch the master at work. I can do this blindfolded with my legs behind my back. Whoa! 
if it hadn't been for that big gust of wind, that would lasso that darn thing. Stand back. I'm coming to get you, you old flower lace. You can tell your kids about this someday. Whoa. It'll come down from there, no problem. Uh-oh. Sorry about that, Ferdy boy. Now you've seen the pro, so let's get going. One time long ago, when I was Emperor of Wyoming, me and Crazy Horse did this. You're stepping on my hand. Sorry. So here's the plan. We sneak up on a horse and lasso it and then pull real hard. How's this? I think somebody's out there. Hey, look over there! <laughs> Just haul it in. I don't think this is a horse. Bye bye. Ouch. Gee, what went wrong, Woody? Looks like we caught a bow, not a horse. Ferdy, this calls for drastic action! He just wants to play with us. Fetch. Go find that and bring it back. Aye, aye, sir. together. Hey, I thought you were my friend, not his. First you begged me to help you find a horse, and now you just want this little bone snatcher. Okay, I'll just catch a horse all by myself. I certainly don't need you guys. Now don't get Ben out of shape. We want to help. We can all be good buddies. Now he's your buddy because I didn't find a horse yet. Well, go on and play then while I find one. There ain't a horse in the whole wide world that Woody can't find. One, two, three, four, and away we go! Huh? Hey, what do you know? I think I really did get me one. Oh, 
<coughs> All we can find of Woody is a shoe. Oh, 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 this shoe stinks. Oh, Sniff, I don't know what we're gonna do now. I don't see him anywhere. Woody has vanished and Ferdy and Sniff don't even know where to look for him. But don't worry. Next time, Ferdy and Sniff will travel far and rescue our friend Woody, wherever he is. So, bye-bye, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>